HR pros have a lot on their plates, especially at small to mid-sized businesses. HR parties of one often have to figure out the ins and outs of their organization on their own. And anything from payroll to compliance to budgets to security could fall within your scope. But the good news is many HR pros have access to an unlikely ally who can help them tackle some of the stickiest parts of the job their organization's PNC insurance broker. So in this episode of HR Party of One, we'll take a look at the top five HR challenges to outsource to your property and casualty insurance broker. We'll cover everything you need to know about who this person is and how they can support your organization. By the end, you'll have a solid list of responsibilities your broker can help you with and the tools you need to get that help. We'll discuss what a property and casualty insurance broker is, how your PNC broker can support you, and all five of the top HR challenges your broker can help you with. Let's get started. What is a property and casualty insurance broker? To understand this role, you first need to understand your organization's property and casualty insurance, also called PNC. Commercial PNC is a type of small business insurance that covers specific parts of your company. On the property side, this insurance protects the stuff your organization owns, equipment, technology, and even your building in some cases. On the casualty side, it protects your organization from liability when there's an incident. This can include workers' compensation claims and other on-site injuries, harm to your organization's or leadership's reputation from things like slander and libel, cyber attacks from hacking to ransomware to password breaches, and employment practices liability insurance or EPLI, which covers allegations of poor employment practices from hiring discrimination to sexual harassment. Now, depending on your insurance policy, you may have worked with an insurance broker or an insurance agent. Both of them sell insurance. So what's the difference? While some agents are contracted by multiple insurance companies, an insurance agent generally works for a specific provider. They're an expert in the offerings of that provider and they're able to enroll you in a plan directly. A broker, on the other hand, works for you. It's your broker's job to research the insurance market and help you build a plan that works for your organization's needs, no matter which provider offers that perfect plan. How can your PNC broker support you? You might be wondering, if your broker's job is to get you set up with an insurance policy, why would they want to help you with HR stuff? The short answer is they have a pretty big incentive to keep you happy. Where an agent collects their commission in a lump sum when you sign up for a plan, brokers who work on commission receive this bonus every year you choose to keep working with them. Your broker knows you can fire them in a single two sentence email, so it's in their best interest to earn a reputation for being a trusted advisor. Your broker is also extremely qualified to support you. As an HR party of one, you may only have experience working with your small business or the handful of companies you've worked for in the past. But a broker could have a hundred or more clients. They'll have experience in dozens of different sticky situations and know what works and what doesn't for businesses similar to yours. For example, here at Bernie Portal, we identified a need. We needed to educate our teams about harassment but we didn't have a formal training procedure in place. So we had two options. One, we could take to the internet, spend weeks researching, and try to figure out ourselves what the best way is to implement sexual harassment training. Or, number two, we could ask our broker what he's seen work. The second option was the clear winner since our PNC broker is a valuable resource who has firsthand knowledge of lots of different options. When you ask your broker for guidance about a certain HR challenge, the very least they can do is give you some solid recommendations worth considering. They might suggest a certain software that worked well for a dozen other organizations in your area, or they might point you towards a training program or coach who came highly recommended by another client. 
Of course, HR will still have to run and manage the program, but outsourcing the burden of finding one in the first place can save many hours of research. As your relationship with your broker develops, you'll find more and more ways they can support you. But maybe you don't know your broker very well right now. If that's the case, look for an opportunity to grow that valuable relationship. Set up an introduction call to go over some of your challenges. Or if you crave that face-to-face -face connection as much as I do, ask them to meet in person. This could be as simple as chatting over coffee for 45 minutes or as in-depth as going to an industry conference together. Many brokers even pay for conference tickets for their clients. So ask if the brokerage has any sponsorships available for the conference that interests you. Our recommendation is Weekdays with Bernie, Bernie Portal's annual industry conference. With dedicated learning tracks for both HR and brokers, it's the perfect opportunity to get to know your broker while advancing your own career. I'll put a link in the description for the conference website and for an email you can send your broker to ask them to sponsor you. What five HR challenges should you outsource to your PNC broker? As your insurance broker becomes a trusted advisor for you and your organization, the possibilities will be nearly endless for ways they can support your HR role. But here are our five favorites. Number one, workplace safety. Your broker has seen it all and they'll be able to think of safety concerns even your OSHA checklist didn't cover. They can help you stay OSHA compliant as well as protect customers and others who might come to your place of business or use your products or services. Number two, employee liability. Ask your broker what kinds of employee liability an organization like yours should look out for. The sexual harassment training we discussed earlier is a great example but they'll also have tips for avoiding unintentional discrimination in hiring and promotion, preventing wrongful termination claims, and more. Number three, cybersecurity. Your broker has likely worked with teams using all the most common cybersecurity measures and teams that had to weather a breach, so they'll be able to point you in the right direction to keep your digital information safe. Number four, property loss. We all hope this day will never come, but if your organization is the victim of theft, accident, or natural disaster that leads to property loss, you'll want to already be prepared. Talk to your broker about the kinds of coverage that would protect you in these situations, and if one of them does affect your business, seek their advice on how to respond effectively and efficiently. And finally, number five, general training. Finally, your broker should be able to offer counsel on general employee training. Let's say you work in an industry where your employees have to keep their certifications up to date to keep practicing. Your broker can recommend a plan for tracking and maintaining employee licenses so you avoid a potential lawsuit from a lapse license. Those aren't the only ways your broker can support you in your HR role, but it should be enough to get you started. In this episode, we've covered everything you need to know about using your PNC broker as a valued resource, from who they are to how their expertise can help you solve some of your biggest challenges. Remember, even if you're an HR party of one, you don't have to solve every problem alone. Your broker should be a partner and trusted advisor, and with their help, you can stay compliant, support your team, and make your organization a great place to work. As always, remember that your role is as strategic as you make it. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One updates and new episodes. Also join our HR Party of One group on LinkedIn.